Hi guys, welcome back to Call Clutter Fairy, where I help you get clutter free so that you can live stress free. I'm so sorry that I've been away for a little while. If you're at all interested, please make sure to stay through the end of the video. I'd love to talk about those things. In the meantime, I wanna jump right into today's video, which is about finding a home for everything so that you don't have clutter. I'm gonna take you on a tour of my home, show you some of my tips, tricks, and things that I use for storage, as well as revisit my home office, which I redid the beginning of the year, and in the six months that I've been using it, I wanted to tweak it so that it was a little bit more efficient. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so here's a look. It's pretty much the same. I just noticed that this particular shelf right here, I hated. I had these wire shelves like this um, that were on top of there, and I had those little buckets that were on top of it, and I just always felt like it looked messy. Um, I'd like this to be a place where as soon as I walk in, I see it, and it's pretty. Um, I think everybody has seen these right now from the Dollar Tree, so I decided to bring those in and just kind of refresh it. I also hated these, um, so I re-sprayed re spray painted those and the stickers that I got this last time from Daiso they weren't sticking they were always coming off I was re-gluing and re-sticking and I would watch a video and notice they were peeling off and it was just driving me mad so on this instance I use these little clips so that I can just unclip it and I can turn it over and use it again and if I change things in it I can just throw them away and get new ones and then down here, I used the laundry, I don't even know what they're called, clothespins, that's it, clothespins. So I spray painted them black and I um, just made my tags on cardstock. And that way if I change what's in the box, it's super easy to take off, but now they're staying, which makes me much, much happier. Um, the other thing is, I like using these types of boxes for when I like having boxes so that if I'm in the middle of a project, I can just pop it open if it's going to let me open and I can just shove the stuff inside and not have to worry about finding it the next time. It's easy to find, but while I'm not working on it, it looks clean on my shelf and that's super important to me and kind of what I'm talking to you guys about today, which is finding storage that you can hide your messy things away you know where it's at it's that finding a home for things but it looks clean and pretty so it, I, I know i've shown you in these boxes before but if you peek inside they're not neat this is my miscellaneous bin and if i've got a thing that i bought i found on clearance i found it at a thrift store i might use it um, I go through this box about every two to three months and I throw away the things that I still haven't used. But these are the types of things that don't have a single category that I can file away to. If I have, you know, a glue that's unique, I'll put it with my tapes and glues. Um, but this is just an eclectic mix. So this is where I put it. And when you're looking at my shelf, it looks cohesive and clean and neat. Don't be afraid of throwing things in a bin but make sure it makes sense. When I go through it on that three month time period to purge, I make sure that if I stuck something in there that actually I already have a category for, I pull it out and I put it together with those other things. The other thing that this does is when I'm looking for the item, it's with its category and I don't get frustrated looking for it. Also, I wanted to talk about this cute little thing that I got at um, a farmer's market recently. Oh my gosh. Do you see it? It's a little fairy door and I am in love with it. It actually opens. It has the little little light porch light on it. I had to put my logo on it, but oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. So anyway, let's go peek in the house. Okay, so I have a tiny kitchen and I had done this stainless steel rack previously. I'll link that video up here. Um, and I liked it. It was working really well for us, but there were two drawers that I had right over here and they were becoming a catch-all. It wasn't functional for us. So I went to Walmart and I found these storage containers that are like the EXO containers, but those EXO containers are like 18 bucks. And I think that's a lot of money for an individual. These were only $8, they were $7.97. Um, they still have the little 
lip so when you push it it pulls up and allows the air to become tight in it so i love these um they're good size i can fit one of the large family size cereals inside here um, and the kids know that they have to snap it closed but here's what i like about the system that i set up with the height of the shelf that i did if they forget to snap it closed meaning that it's not going to be sealed and airtight they can't slide it back in. They have to close this in order for it to fit inside. They can see what's in here. I know the things are already fresh. It's definitely been helping me with buying things as it gets low because when they're in boxes in your pantry, you don't know. You go to reach for it, you realize that the kids left you, you know, three morsels of food left and now you don't have it. So this is working much better for me. The other thing, as you know, my garage is where my office is and my craft room. I was always finding papers that I needed to file. I found this little drawer at a thrift store and this is where I put my papers. Um, and every couple days I just grab what's in there take it to my garage and file it or pay it or do whatever I need to do with it. These baskets up here were for from Target. Those are working really well still. Um, I stopped marking what was in them because it just looked cleaner to not have them labeled. But this is all of my coffee supplies. This is everything for my dog. And over here is my food ninja. So when I need it, I could pull it out. Everything's all together. The other thing I did was change the orientation. I had it over on this wall and it was bugging me because this wall wasn't being utilized and the kitchen is always feeling cramped. So I switched the orientation of it I love that when the kids get water, if they do spill, it's not in the main walkway. Before, it was right here, and they were always spilling water, and of course, what happens? There's a puddle that gets tracked through the entire house. Um, once I started getting things organized, I got totally inspired. This was a stereo cabinet that um, had been dismantled and was going into a landfill, and I took it. Um, didn't know what I was going to do with it, but we were at Hobby Lobby and they had this produce stand that was similar to this, but it was 180 bucks. And I thought, oh, heck no, I can make this. So I got three little baskets. I happened to get these from Big Lots. I love them. I just mounted the wood together with a crossbar. There's a crossbar here on the back, a crossbar here on the back, and then one on the bottom. And because I had an existing door from that cabinet, I made a frame. But I Velcroed it on here so that I can change the artwork whenever I want to. So I don't know if you can hear it, but it just comes right off. And I can just push it back on and change the artwork at Christmas time or Halloween or if I get bored with this one. This was one of the other doors and I just used my Cricut um, to make a little sign. But this is, for me, working so well. Before I had a bowl on my counter for the fruit and my Keurig was on the counter. You guys, I have a tiny kitchen. Seriously, this is it. This is my whole counter space. And that's a problem because the Keurig was over here and it took up the space up to about here, which meant that was all I had for counter space. And over here, I had the fruit basket right here, which meant when I did dishes, I had no room. It wasn't working. So now I have all this glorious counter space for me it's making me actually want to cook oh my god don't tell anybody that i said that well you guys that's all i have for today's video hopefully some of these tips and suggestions that i had really help you to find homes for all of the things in your house so that you're clutter free so i want to talk about where i've been um you know it's funny because just because you are a professional at something doesn't mean that you're always going to be following your own advice. So this last spring, as the school year was ending, our schedules were crazy and business was really going gangbusters. So I thought I would just take a week or two off. We did some projects around the house. The kids were super busy doing a ton of things. And with each finished project, uh, not taking my own advice instead of putting things away and handling it immediately I was shoving it into my garage. That's our overflow space. We have a teeny tiny house So after a while once the garage was filled 
things started overflowing into my house and I don't even have a better way to say it. I shut down. I couldn't keep on top of it. I stopped going into my garage at all, which is my happy place. It's where I do my crafting. It's where I'm inspired to do my videos. I wasn't even touching it. My crafting table was a mound of projects that we were working on, things that got thrown on top of it. I mean, it's exactly what I'm always trying to help you guys with. And I finally got to the point where I thought, what the heck are you doing? Follow your own advice. So I set my timer. I came in here and I just started collecting all of the similar things. I got all of my tools together and I put them away. I got all my craft supplies together that we were done with that we weren't going to be using for future projects and I donated them. I revamped some of my areas that you know were a little bit cumbersome to put things away or just weren't working as well and I revamped it and then I started going room by room through my house and it's amazing because as soon as I did that as soon as I got my areas back into, into their original places, I was so inspired again to start working on projects, which brings me so much peace and tranquility. And I was inspired to start doing videos again. So if you stayed subscribed during these three months that I was on hiatus, I appreciate you so much. If you're newer and you liked the videos and you subscribed despite the fact that I hadn't posted anything recently, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm totally committed to jumping back in and posting on a regular basis. I've got a ton of ideas for things going into the fall. So I just want to say how much I thank you guys and I will see you next week. Bye.